Respect the specs. We'll have our own eyes on Georgia place kicker Rodrigo Blankenship to see where he lands in the NFL draft tomorrow night. Hot Rod will definitely be the first kicker taken in the draft, but only after an interesting evaluation process. Kelly Price reports. Well, at this point, you've got to be pretty used to communicating with people on video conferences, whether it's Zoom or whatever with some of these NFL teams that you're probably talking with. How has all of that been going in this weird virtual world we're living in? Definitely had a few Zoom calls, a few FaceTimes, a few Skypes, you know, a little bit of everything at this point. Um, you know, definitely was not the uh, pre-draft process that anyone anticipated or would have hoped for, but it's just the cards that we were dealt. And I'm sure as a kicker, you have that question a lot about handling adversity and how you kind of respond in those situations. So is this even an example of how to kind of adapt and survive? Absolutely. Being a kicker, there's, you know, tough times are going to happen, uh, whether you like it or not. You know, the best in the game still have tough times. You know, everyone's going to miss a kick eventually. And uh, so when that happens, you need to know how to handle it. So I just look at this as another situation to, you know, kind of learn how to handle it the right way so that I can be better for it going forward. Have you talked to any of your teammates or any other kind of guys in this class about how weird this process has been? You know, we were all back in Athens a few days before before we were supposed to have our pro day. And, and so I got to see most of those guys again in Athens when our pro day got canceled, probably about three or four days before it was supposed to happen. Um, and, and so that was a, a, you know, a major bummer. And I think that was kind of when it really set in for all of us that uh, we weren't going to get to have the, the draft process that, you know, that we had hoped for, that we might have, uh, you know, thought we were going to be able to have. That was really kind of when reality set in for all of us. I think more teams have had the opportunity to get to know you and have these kinds of calls in this environment versus, you know, before you maybe would have been going out on visits and not as many of those as a FaceTime or whatever. Yeah. Um, you know, kind of interesting to think, you know, what if this had been a normal process? Um, I know that uh, there were a lot of teams that had expressed interest in wanting to come for, you know, private workouts and private meetings after a day. And, you know, that's kind of, that was kind of the standard procedure for most specialists. Outside of your college career, that's kind of the best thing for specialists because the special teams coach is coming. You get the one-on-one -on -one time with that special teams coach and he gets to put you through all the drills that he wants to put you through. He gets to ask you to kick all the kicks that... You know, he would expect the team's kicker to be able to perform if they're going to bring him in the team. Um, so those are really the best thing that we have going for us is those private workouts, and, and we didn't get to have those. It's not what we all thought it was going to look like, but are you just excited to see what this weekend's going to hold for you? Absolutely. Yes, I'm very excited. A lot of dogs, um, you know, that I think are going to get drafted this, this time around. Um, you know, as, as is pretty much every year, um, there's always a lot of torture guys that, you know, do really good things. And I'm definitely excited to see where some of our guys go in the earlier rounds. Uh, all the kickers and punters that have been drafted over the last probably three to four years um, have been taken in rounds five through seven. The day three is four through seven. So, you know, I'm, I'm trying to be realistic. And you know, that's where I'm, I'm expecting that I'll be taken you know, if I'm going to be drafted. And, and so I want to spend that time with my parents and hopefully have that moment, uh, you know, with my parents at home. Kelly, thanks. Kelly's got a detailed report on Hot Rod on Fox5Atlanta.com.